In this tutorial, we'll be using ACE3D to convert GDS2 files used in integrated circuit and MEMS designs into 3D step. And the purpose of this will be primarily for performing verification and analysis on uh, simulation also on these uh, files. So let's go ahead and first select for the import the GDS2 format and for export again I'll choose step. They already are pre-defaulted for me. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and choose my examples, get the sample GDS2 file here. And at this point, I'm able to select the different options for my 3D export. In this case, I want to show the vias and the metal layers. Uh, and again, the other options all seem pretty much standard. Well, application protocol 214. So at this point, I've imported in my GDS2 file. As you see with ACE, it has a built-in viewer, so I can easily go through and navigate which layers I want to be able to output, whether all of them or whether a few of them. In this case, I just want to output three layers. I want to output layer 5, layer 6, which is a via, and layer 8, which happens to be another metal layer. What I will do also is, in this particular case, we'll just export a certain section of the design and not the whole design because many times for simulation you don't need to have the entire design but get a certain section just to test the certain areas of the circuits. So what we'll do here is we use a feature called clip area and I can either choose a current display, I can select points or objects. In this case I'll just generically select a boundary and basically this is the area that I will be outputting. <clears throat> So you see everything set here. So all I need to do at this point is assign the layer types. So layer five, which I know is metal, layer six happens to be a via, and layer eight is also metal. What we'd like to do then is assign a thickness. So for the thickness, the sense is showing up here in millimeters. Obviously, GDS2 is very small, so I'll be assigning small thicknesses. The vias don't have any thickness. I'll go ahead and choose here. 0, 5. And what's nice now is I can use a feature called Update Z Base. What that does is it automatically, based on the thicknesses I've assigned for layers, calculate the actual Z Base. So as you see here, it's automatically calculated uh, for my second layer, that particular setting. All right, and I think we're good from here. Let's go ahead and press Next. And again, the nice thing about ACE is it's completely configurable, so you can assign and adjust any of these settings to meet your specific requirements. I'll go ahead and save. At this point right now, ACE is exporting out, and I have a completed step file. So let's go ahead and view the results in Autodesk Inventor. Here we are in Inventor, and as you'll see, my circuit has been completely imported. And if we go ahead and uh, select Bring it home. Let's go ahead and rotate. You'll see my circuit has been fully imported. You also see the vias have been shown through. So it's a very nice way now to calculate the absolute metal that's being used and running this through a bunch of analysis and other tests. All this is done simply and straightforward using ACE 3D. Thank you very much.